Good morning, students. Welcome back to our English class. In yesterday's class, we have discussed the definition of adjective, attributes of adjective, and the five kinds of adjectives. In today's class, let us discuss about the formation of adjectives from nouns and verbs. Adjectives can be formed by adding group of letters to the base word to form an adjective. And these group of letters are called as suffixes. I think you have heard of this word in your previous classes. The group of letters which will be added at the end of the word are called as suffixes. So, let us just check with examples what are those suffixes which can be added to the noun or the verb to form the adjective. Now here, gold. So here, gold is the noun and you are adding an en. En is the suffix. You are adding en to it to form the adjective golden. Now, what is gold? It is a noun. So you are adding en to form golden the adjective. My mother presented me a golden ring. So ring is the noun. And what is it describing? That it is a golden ring. Now the next one. Now taste is the verb. Now here to taste you are adding the suffix y. Now it forms the adjective tasty. Today I had tasty breakfast. Yes children. To be frank there are no set rules to form adjectives from the suffix by meaning we adding suffixes to the base word. There are no set rules because already you know what kind of role or what the adjective is doing in the uh, sentence. But I will be explaining to you with various examples using the base form in the form of a table. Okay? So, let us check some adjectives which are formed from nouns and verbs by adding suffixes like able, ale, ive, some, fuel, less, y, ious, ish, ous and ical. Shall we first check with nouns? So students, here is a table where you can observe that in the first column it is the suffix. So here the three suffixes are y, al and il. I already discussed what is meant by suffix. A group of letters which are added at the end of the word. Now you can find in the second column the nouns which are the examples. Luck. When you are adding a suffix y it forms an adjective lucky. Similarly hair, hairy, storm, stormy, length, lengthy, accident, accidental, nature, natural, magic, magical, commerce, commercial, finance, financial. Yes, children, when you observe the words which are ending with E, it is nature, commerce and finance. Now, when certain words end with the letter E, you need to drop it or eliminate it or remove it and add the then add the suffix now nature you removed the e and you added the suffix ale it's natural and commerce you removed the e and added the il similarly with finance yes so please you go through the table once again after the whole video completes the next one the suffixes are ly ish and ic so you can see the noun example is man 
and you are adding the suffix ly to form manly, king, kingly, girl. You are adding ish to form girlish, child, childish, book, bookish, tragedy, tragic, artist, artistic. Now here you can see in the word tragedy, the word is ending with I, uh, y. Now here from he is eliminating it from e d y and uh, adding the suffix i c children here there are no uh, set rules just uh, you have to follow it simply means you need to be thorough with the patterns that's all which word takes which suffix that's all then it will be very easy for you to change the noun to an adjective by adding the suffix Let's check the next. See able. For the word comfort, when you are adding the suffix able, it's comfortable. When you are adding uh, uh, able to read, it's readable. When you are adding it to reason, it is reasonable. Very easy, isn't it? The next one. There are, uh, there is a suffix ary and vous. See custom, customary moment momentary and if it is ous fame fame famous danger dangerous see again we came across a word which is ending with e so what did we do we removed the e and added the suffix o u s you have to remember such words these are all exceptions the words ending with e and why with the noun that is in the base word don't change it up for any other thing you need you will be removing from the base word to which a suffix should be added to form the adjective yes am i clear the next one now here the suffixes are ful less less and ious now here also thank thankful use useful now you might ask me ma'am now uh, this word is ending uh, with e use is ending with e and you are asking uh, you told us that you have to remove the e and then add the suffix that rule is not applicable to all the words i told you know there are certain exceptions and that another uh, tip for you is before the e there is a consonant so when there is a consonant before it you can't remove the e and it will be meaningless if you remove the e also isn't it you won't say as full isn't it so you are not going to remove the e don't apply that rule for all the words fear when you are adding the suffix less fearless useless speechless now it come when it comes to uh, the suffix is I O U S ambition, ambitious, anxiety, it is anxious. See again, the word is ending with Y, but from where are we removing? When it is E T Y E. So keep this in mind. Only for certain words you are going to remove the E or the Y found in that base word to add the suffix and make it form an adjective so children we have uh, learnt enough of uh, the formation of adjectives from nouns uh, by adding a suffix to the base word now let us check few uh, words where we are using suffixes to change verbs to adjectives so here we have able we got it even in the uh, noun isn't it able read readable means you are going to read here the read is acting as a verb there read is acting as a noun ative ativ inform informative ed you are adding it to the verb the base word uh, annoy annoyed confuse confusing produce productive possess possessive break broken now see the completely the word is uh, changing yes this i'll be teaching you in verbs 
the weak verbs and the strong verbs. So don't get confused, but just remember it. Okay. Tear, torn, use, used, learn, learnt. Yes, students, I hope you are you understood uh, the concept of the formation of adjectives from nouns and verbs by adding suffixes. Students, again, I remind you, there are no simple or set rules to form these words using suffixes. But you must be aware of the pattern and the usage of the adjective in the sentence. Based on it, you can form the adjective from the verb. It might be the verb or it might be a noun. And if you practice and you might be perfect in it, isn't it? So children, uh, please practice. You can check various grammar books or you can practice from your grammar book itself. And that's all for today's class. Uh, thank you.